Ribbon's Apollo Optical Network is automatically discovered by adding the first network element and recursively finding all the connected neighbors. After the topology is discovered, all the services are automatically discovered as well. To begin, we will add the first network element. Discovery of the connected neighbors is initiated. Now the NE configurations are uploading to the system. The optical components view is expanded. All optical services have been discovered. You can provision an optical service, or OCH, between two MUX Ponders line ports on channel 49. Then, an ODU service can be created by connecting the MUX Ponder client, which will connect the routers. First, we create the OCH service. Line ports are connected as endpoints. Creation of the OCH service is complete. Now, we create the ODU service. Select the router ports connected to the transponders as endpoints. OCH and OCU services have been created. We can monitor an optical service with Muse's Signal Health module. This presents the optical impairments along the path of the service and analyzes multiple parameters side by side or compares a single parameter value at different times. First, we find all the service on a selected link. Then the Signal Health panel is opened for the selected service. The OSNR value is on each point along the path. Power values are added to the graph. We now have full integration between the graph and the topology. We can compare a parameter on different times. or view the information in tables. It is also possible to monitor an optical fiber with Ribbon's Apollo OTDR cards and Muse's Fiber Health module, and execute and view OTDR test results on graphs, tables, and a geographical map. First, we switch to the OTDR perspective to highlight monitored links. Then the Fiber Health panel for the selected fiber is opened. We can compare OTDR results from different times, View the information in a table. The events are correlated to the geographical map using information imported from a GIS system. We can add IP MPLS connectivity between two Ribbon Neptune routers by creating the required logical interfaces. 
and view the multi-layer topology for easily correlating between the created IP connectivity and the underlying optical infrastructure. First, we create a new IP MPLS link between two routers. Then IP, IGP, and MPLS parameters are configured. Choose the ethernet ports connecting the routers. When switching to multi-layer view and selecting the newly created IP link, the underlying path over the optical network is highlighted. We can provision an L3 VPN hub and spoke service with three endpoints, one hub and two spokes. Execute a trace route command and view the traffic path in the network. First, we define the service as hub and spoke. The first endpoint is selected, defining it as a hub and configuring its VLAN and IP parameters. The second endpoint is selected, defining it as a spoke and configuring its VLAN and IP parameters. The third endpoint is selected by defining it as a spoke and configuring its VLAN and IP parameters. The service has been created. We can open the trace route panel and configure the test. Execute the trace route in the network element. The result is available in a table and the path is highlighted on the topology map. 